Hi guys, today's video I am going to show you how to use Q for Laravel performance optimizations. So basically when we are sending an email, user need to wait until email is sent. Okay, so what I want to do in this example, I will show you how to use Q and we can improve a Laravel application speed. So we will set up the background process for sending email and user don't have to wait until the sending email. So let's get started and let's see with the real example. So I already have a download fresh laravel application you can see on my vs code editor and go to the table plus i already have a set up the database and now first of all i will run the application php artisan serve okay and go to the browser hit register okay and i will use fake filler to fill the information so use the fake filler and click on create account and you can see that i quickly register and it's all working fine now what i want to do in this process i want to send a welcome mail to user and let's see so let me go to the welcome mail okay so i will create the class php artisan mac mail and welcome mail and i will use markdown for beautiful design so i will just say mark down equal to mail folder under the mail folder we have a welcome blade file hit enter and you can see that it's created a class file and also it's created a blade file so now what i'm going to do just go to my vs code editor and go to the welcome blade file here i'm going to set subject so welcome to youtube demo this is for just demo so that's why and then i will also asking user objects so i will take public user save it okay and then if i go to the blade file go to the mail dot welcome dot blade here i will just say welcome mail and i don't require button usually hi and then username i will take from the user object that already we have a pass name and then I will write some dummy tags so that way in email we have a proper so welcome mail tags I already created custom snippet for my VS code editor hit enter and then you can see that I have just written some dummy tags we are excited to have you with us and all the things blah 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 and save it okay now what I'm going to do go to the live wire and go to the auth here you can see that register method after register i want to send email to the user so welcome email okay so let me go and i will use mail facade and two i will take email from the user object and then send new and then welcome mail whatever class we created and as an argument we are asking for user object so what i need to do pass the user object and just save it Okay, and then I just need to use mail facade over here. So basically, I'll just copy this. Suppose facade slash mail. Okay, and then use app mail and welcome mail. Okay, that class both are used over here. Save it. Okay, now what I'm going to do, just go here and log out this user okay and click register again i will use the fact filler so click on fact filler and you can see i want to send a real email but before that i want to also configure our smtp configuration so let me go to the env file and here by default you can see that we are using the log but we need to also use smtp configuration maybe you if you are using mailgun or a send grid or smtp i am going to use gmail configuration if you don't know you can go to my channel and search for gmail smtp configuration with laravel and you will find the tutorials so let me go and set up it so now i have set up it okay so i am not going to share with you so let me go here and refresh the registration page okay and again let me use the fact filler okay and here i'm going to use my real email address hardik savani 02 at the rate gmail.com okay and just click on create account and you can see that it's loading and it's taking time because we are sending an email in the background okay sorry in like background process okay you can see now register but it's take usual time and let me go to my email and you can see i received the email welcome to youtube demo and so that means email is working fine but it's taking usual time 
okay so what i am going to use i am going to use q for sending email so it will be quickly reload and user don't have to wait until the send email okay so let me go here and first of all i will show you the process of q connection okay so you can see that in env first of all you need to choose the driver for q so here you can see that q connection and database driver so by default lara will use database driver but you can use maybe redis and redis is the best but for this example i am going to use database okay and then you can go to the database and migration and if i click on the create table you can see that jobs and job bats so that means a uh, user already like uh, laravel already created jobs table for a queue so you don't have to configure that one okay and then what you need to do is if i go to the mail class i just want to show you the configuration you can see that it's queueable so that means you can use queue for the sending email okay so now what you need to do a change let me go to the register instead of send you just need to use queue save it and then you need to run queue work command so that means that listen the process of queue so let me clear this and run php artisan queue colon work okay so now you can see that we don't have any process for the queue okay and now let me register okay before register because i am using my on the email and if i go here and just refresh my table plus i already have registered with that email so let me refresh this database okay so php artisan migrate refresh okay and it's refresh and let me clear and let me again run q work command okay so now let me go here and just log out yeah maybe yeah because we already removed the table and now let me register again let me remove that uh, email as well okay and use the fact filler to okay all the information and now so one hd so savani hardi savani and 02 at the rate gmail.com so this is the real email address and click on create account and you can see that quickly quickly uh, you know like redirect to the dashboard and you can see that this background process is running and now it's done so that means i just want to show you that the process this is running this email class like sending email process and now done but before this all the things it quickly redirect to the dashboard because user register user don't have to wait now let me go and show you the email they have sent or not you can see that welcome to youtube demo so you can see that how easily we can do it like sending email by queue same thing you can use queue for your performance optimization because if you have a long task for example you are getting data from other apis or maybe you have other like import cs large csv file or that types of task and you can set up the you know cron like sorry queue so that way you don't like user doesn't have to wait and you can boost your application performance so i hope guys you understand how easily we can do it and if you like video then share with your friends and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching guys